What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports, with Jordan Love becoming the highest paid quarterback in NFL history and Justin Jefferson becoming the highest paid receiver in NFL history. This has put the Dallas Cowboys organization in a very stressful situation in giving their quarterback and receivers their next contracts, along with Michael Parsons wanting his new extension. Now, I understand that all three will love to be Cowboys, but I find it very hard that the Dallas Cowboys can keep all three as it will be very tight on them financially, as well as reinvesting some extra money to retool the team and make them Super Bowl contenders. Now, let's start off with CeeDee Lamb. CeeDee Lamb has been to the Pro Bowl in three straight years and has been a back-to-back -back all pro receiver. When C.D. Lamb is on the field, he gives the Cowboys the best chance to move the ball down the field as well as score touchdowns and points for their team. A big, big part of that is having Dak Prescott as the quarterback, but there is no denying that C.D. Lamb is a superstar wide receiver in the NFL. Since he's been drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, his receptions has gone up. His receiving yards have gone up and his touchdowns have gone up in every single year. That is not sustainable, but there is no denying that he is arguably a top five or a top three receiver in the NFL, depending on who you ask. Now, with that being said, if CD Lamb were to go to a different team, if you look at their depth chart and the receiving room, it is very uninspiring, and there is no one in that receiving room that can put up that type of production that C.D. Lamb can. Yes, you could let C.D. Lamb go and draft a receiver, but what are the chances of that wide receiver panning out, providing the same production as C.D. Lamb? Very low, so I do think that it would be very smart for the Dallas Cowboys just to lock C.D. Lamb in and give him the extension. Um, and on top of that, Brandon Ayuk is looking for his extension as well. So I think it will be very smart for the Cowboys to give C.D. Lamb the extension, have your superstar wide receiver at the Cowboys and have them not only give your team the best chance to score, but you really cannot let a top five, top three receiver leave your team as it will be very difficult for your team to move the ball because I don't see anyone else that can in that receiving room and put up the same production that C.D. Lamb can. So with that being said, I think the Cowboys will lock C.D. Lamb, and he is good to go. Now it is down to Dak Prescott and Micah Parsons. Now let, let's talk about Micah Parsons. Since he's joined the NFL, he's averaging about 30 quarterback hits a season and has never had less than 13 sacks a season. Since coming into the NFL, he has been named a pro bowler and an all pro edge rusher in the NFL, top five edge rusher in the NFL, depending on who you ask. But there is no denying that as long as Michael Parsons is on defense, he gives the Dallas Cowboys the best chance for that defense to be top 10 or top five, depending on how they're doing in the season. Now let's talk about his postseason stats now. He's played four postseason games, one sack, and four quarterback hits. So it kind of seems like Micah Parsons has extraordinary numbers during the regular seasons, but seems to go a bit ghost in the playoffs. Now, let's not give Dak Prescott a pass on that situation because Dak Prescott also has phenomenal regular season numbers. He was just named second team all pro and came in second in MVP votings this past season. But in the playoffs, he is 2-5, and five, and he is tied for the worst postseason record with 2-5 and five, with a minimum of five starts. Now, it seems like both Micah and Dak have phenomenal regular, regular season stats, but both go missing in the postseason. Now, if it were to me and who I think the Cowboys should prioritize next, I think they should prioritize Micah Parsons. Now, I understand they picked up his fifth-year option, so he has this season and next season, but when the time comes and he does have an extraordinary regular season, he's going to want the extension, and I do think that it is very crucial for the Dallas Cowboys to keep Micah Parsons. When Micah Parsons is on defense, he does give the Dallas Cowboys defense the best chance to be dominant during the season, and defense does 
win championships. And you cannot let someone at that type of caliber and superstardom who's been to all pro in every single year and a pro bowler every single year and never had less than 13 sacks a season go to a different team. So I do think that the Cowboys will prioritize CeeDee Lamb first and then take care of Michael Parsons next. Now that leaves Dak Prescott. If Dak Prescott is willing to take a good pay cut, maybe they can all work it out and all three can say. I find it very hard to believe that he's going to want to take less than what Jordan Love is making, especially due to his experience, his regular stats, his regular season stats, and what type of performance he has had during the regular seasons. Second MVP voting, second team all pro. You really think Dak's going to want less than $55 million a year? I don't think so. I do think that Dak Prescott is going to be the next highest paid quarterback in the NFL before it's Brock Purdy's turn. But I do think that Dak Prescott is going to probably ask around $60 million a year, whether it's three, four, or five years. With that being said, I do not think the Dallas Cowboys should make that decision. I think that they should let Dak walk in that case. I know a lot of you are saying, if they let Dak go, what's the alternative? And I understand that that's the Dallas Cowboys organization's worry. Who's the alternative if Dak leaves? Because Dak is a top 10, top five quarterback during a regular season. How can we let someone like that go? Well, let me, let me tell you something. If you were to sign C.D. Lamb, sign uh, Michael Parsons, and give Dak Prescott $60 million average a year, A, you're going to be tight in cap space with all of those cap hits. You're not going to have enough cap space to pay other players when they become free agents. And C, you're not going to take care of positions of need when the time comes if there are holes. And the cap space for quarterback is increasing. And I understand that the quarterback is the most important position in the NFL as, as well as the most expensive. And I know if they let Dak leave, Trey Lance is a free agent. Cooper Rush is a free agent. So pretty much you're going to have no quarterback next year. I think that the Dallas Cowboys should probably let Dak walk, figure it out between Trey Lance or Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush has a starting record of 5-1 and one with the Dallas Cowboys. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring him back on a one- to two-year deal. And then I can see the Dallas Cowboys drafting a quarterback in the 2025 NFL draft within the first four rounds, have him sit, maybe redshirt the first year, learn the NFL ropes and learn from a veteran before it's his time to be the franchise. And on top of that, the Cowboys have Dak Prescott's cap hit of $40 million in 2025. So why add more debt to the cap hit, especially when you kind of want to get Dak Prescott's cap hit off the books. And on top of that, when the $40 million fall off in 2025, it, incre it decreases in 2026 and 2027, and I believe in 2028. So if it were me and what I think would happen, I think they let Dak walk, eat the $40 million in dead cap, and let it fall off the books each year, spring back Trey Lance or Cooper Rush on a short-term deal, and maybe get a free agent on a short-term deal, draft a rookie quarterback, and it gets... Uh, and then build from there. Um, I don't think that they should have a rebuilding type of situation in the organization. I think it should be more of retooling. Um, I think that they should definitely get some extra money to invest in positions that they need. Because personally, I do not think that the Dallas Cowboys are Super Bowl contenders. I might get some hate on that. But I don't think that they're Super Bowl contenders at this moment. And I think there needs to be some key changes that needs to be done. I understand that probably Jerry Jones is... The reason why all this is happening, and he, they probably won't win one unless he leaves or what happens, but I think that prioritizing C.D. Lamb first, Michael Parsons second, and if Dak Prescott is very adamant about becoming the highest paid quarterback in NFL history and getting at least 60 and nothing less, I say let Dak go, bring either Cooper Rush or Trey Lance back on a one-year deal, probably Cooper Rush, draft a quarterback, so now you have the future franchise quarterback on a rookie deal and retool from there. Let me know your thoughts and comment below on this video and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe as I make football content every Mondays and Fridays. Thank you so much and catch you next time.